let's go play around the goal. So I would I would say that a lot of my sports does not come from, from competition. I mean, when I was pitching, I would have individual competition with each batter. I felt like, okay, I got to get this guy out. So I did like competition in that sense. But if you're to me today, like the Lakers or professional, no, I don't really get into it. I appreciate good play. But sports for me, it was more about pitching. And I like pitching. previous appearance. Yeah. Oh, you're going to roll the tape. Here we go. And <laughs> No, but Mark, uh, thank you so much for being here, and uh, we, we've known each other for a long time, and today I'm going to out Marin Marin, yeah. and I'm just going to talk to you. Okay. Uh, someone asked me how long we'd known each other. I, I was just at Sundance with the yeah, you know, Go back. I think the first yeah. time I met you was when you were on Mr. Show, and weren't you living in that house with Posehn? No, I just hung out there all the time. Okay, so that was yeah. it, and we rode bikes and parties. Yeah, yeah, the bikes and the pool. Yeah, we've known each other a long time. So, yeah. And I, I, and you've done, uh, you or you did the uh, recipes, the Comedy Bang Bang live stand-up show many years. Many times, and it always made me uh, uncomfortable for the same reason your theme song made me uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Does it? Yes. Wow. That what's wrong with this? So my episode is Bob Bob Gekko played directed for the episodes, and uh, you know my showrunners and we're all and everybody's sitting and I'm doing the scene and I'm like he's doing like hey I go and I'm like you know and I get off and they're all like he's doing you know he's not doing the thing we need him to be 
your relationship with them, and, you know, give them an hour, and they'll strip you down to whatever you were when you were 10. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's never that far away. And then if you're smart, you walk out of the room and you don't engage because if you have anger at your parents, uh, you know, that's that's very young in terms of where when it started. Fascinated with the whole process. And, you know, obviously I had some problems with pants and whatever, but I, I mean, I'm not going to let it... Problems with pants with Mark yeah, Barron. I'm not going to... I'm not going to freak out about it because, like, I'm pretty proud of the show. The one thing I know about it in, in, in the whole arc of it is that it doesn't look like anything else. And, and it doesn't, doesn't, it's not hacky. And there are some very real and funny moments in it. And they're, they're interesting stories. So I, I, I feel proud of it, which is, you know, weird. I don't know how numbers work anymore. Yeah. Someone who has disproportionately short arms and legs. Oh, I know the ones. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's caused by a hormone deficiency. Yeah, bloody hormones. Yeah. A midget is still a dwarf, but their arms and legs are in proportion. So, what's an elf? Do you want that? An elf is a supernatural being. Sometimes they're invisible, like fairies. They don't actually exist, do they? In real life. Question. 
Jennifer is coming in midday today, Greenwich Mean Time. She will have the verdict then. Okay, I was just trying to keep the troops happy. Well, they'd be a lot happier if they knew they got jobs. Editing, you know, just some silly video that I'm making. Just stuff you did here at home. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I like the colors on those, and then mm -hmm. these white and white ones here. Oh, those are very cool. And then, Little skaters. Man, those are tiny feet. Space ones. Mm. So, those are all three orders. <laughs> Outer space. Wow. Yeah, they're taking a while because all the dots. See, all the dots here, I'm going to have to do here too. All Is along. the rest of that shoe just going to be black? No, I'm going to do more dots. <laughs> was that, that was a black shoe or you painted it? Black? No, it was a white shoe. Wow. All white and then, yeah. Very cool. Thank you. Glad you dig them. Yeah, they are awesome. And uh, I have time for you now? or? Yeah, I right. think I'm going to zip out. It's a rainy day and oh. catch up on some sleep. That sounds Before fun. I start my final paperwork. Alright, yeah, cool. Alrighty? Yeah. All right, Sweet. Guys. See you later, alligator. going on iTunes and watching a movie with me and one of the guests. Uh, and um, thank you for having me. I'm here. 
Very close good. relative. Chocolate's good for you. Raw chocolate's good for you. Not, not. Insert the cams. You got it. Yes. Push. Believe. I, I feel like they're at 7-Eleven. And I should. They're looking at me. These bananas, and they're not expensive. They're yeah. good for you. Yeah. Are there? It is a, it's not just filler. It's not iceberg lettuce. It's, no, it has, it has a lot of nutrients in it. People that only eat bananas. Are you serious? That only eat apples. Yeah, I like apples. What about the apples there from 7-Eleven? Those I don't trust. That is middle of Seattle. I think I got through Amazon. Look at that. Not me. My telephone. Uh -huh. you, you set it up one click. Places over in Venice. And yeah, it, more healthy. it does suck. Amazon is kind of swallowing. I don't know if it sucks, but it's swallowing up everything. Probably ever again.
made him look good. He's volatile, you know, his material has a half-life. You kind of think about it later and it, it hits you, it comes back to you. I've seen actually audiences laughing on the freeway because they've seen his show and didn't laugh at the time, but it hits them on the way home. And they, they respond then. He's gotten many standing ovations when people get to their house. Ladies and gentlemen, Richard Lewis!